Welcome to another version of Fun with Phones. In this episode, we're going to talk about the British Ministry of Defense PTC 404 field phone. Um, these phones were built uh, in the 70s and 80s, and probably and they still may in use today. They basically were built as a replacement for the older British telephone set, Set L Mark I, which was basically an older styles in a metal case. Um, this is it right here. It comes in this case right here, built by Ray Cal. It comes in this nice case here. You open it up, and uh, there it is, the phone itself. Uh, basically right here, it's got a little pouch right here for the handset and the manual. And this is a compartment for extra batteries if you want to have any. We'll go ahead and take the phone out of the case now. Okay, and there we go, and that's it right there. It's a, uh, it's a electronic only phone. Uh, it doesn't have a hand crank magnet or any moving parts and it's all electronics. Uh, very similar to the Norwegian TP6N that I've shown previously. Um, it's got this ruggedized aluminum case. This one actually has a date on it of 1985. Battery compartments right here. It shows you how to install the batteries. It uses four D-cell batteries. Either run on either local battery or common battery operations. Um, it has these nice rubber feet on it, so if you actually want to set it down on a tabletop or a desk or something, it wouldn't slide around and scratch anything. All the controls are here on the top. The handset right here, uh, nice clothing clip to clip it on. Uh, also, it's got a squeeze to talk. Now, this what's interesting about this one, like the Norwegian one, is you have to squeeze the handset to also listen. So to listen, you have to squeeze the handset to talk. You have to squeeze the handset. It takes some getting used to, but it's fairly easy to do. These are fairly rugged phones. Uh, like I said, it's got a good metal case. Um, operating instructions right there on it. We'll go ahead now, and I'll hook it up to a, a TA312, and we'll make some phone calls. I got it set up now and hooked up. I one got my SP22 stand thing so having an angle. Go over the controls here real quick. This is the binding post right here, 2L field wire. This is the uh, mode selector right here. It's actually got three modes of operation. It's got a normal mode, a test mode, which tests the, uh, the bring generator and beeper and everything, and it's got a whisper mode. It's interesting, in whisper mode, it actually makes the microphone more sensitive, so if you're in a position, a fighting position or someplace where you can't talk loud, it increases the sensitivity on the microphone, so it's uh, easier to hear your whisper voice. Uh, this little knob right here that dials back and forth, this is the volume for the ringer, right there. This is the actual the ring selector right here. When you want to send a ring, you send the ring signal, or you flip it the other way, you're now in common battery mode, meaning that if you wanted to, you could connect this to a switchboard and pull power from the switchboard and not have to have batteries in it. This little flipper right here controls a, uh, is a cover that basically covers there's a little red LED that when you have an incoming ring, the LED will illuminate. This little cover allows you to cover that up so it can't be seen at night if you want to have one to do that. Okay, we'll go ahead and I made a call to the 312. What's interesting about this is no matter how long you hold this, it only ring for, for about four or five seconds. And that's done so that if you just mash it on, you don't run the batteries down inside here. And also, it's if you try to generate like a one minute ring for this TA312, you'd probably ruin the uh, circuitry in here or also drain the batteries. So it's basically done for a quick ring. Okay, now we'll go the other way. I'll call the 404. Go ahead and flip down and we'll see if you can see the LED light. So it's not the loudest phone in the world, but it is usable. And this phone will work with all the NATO phones that I've had and I haven't demonstrated. It will also work with all the Soviet or Warsaw Pact phones that I've had. So like I said, just again, this is the British Ministry of Defense PTC 404 phone.